Hi, everybody, and welcome to day two of Grace to Gratitude. I'm Marcy Newman, your Heart Shift Coach, and I want you to know that this now has become such a focus of my attention. I've really been thinking about grace the whole day and sort of searching out the different ways that it's evidenced in my life and the work that I do. The reason that I know to watch for something that has taken my attention is that, of course, I know that whatever I put my focus on is going to expand. It's constantly seeking out other energy just like itself. And so I know that these next 28 days, I will be experiencing a lot of grace. And of course, the purpose of it is to elevate our vibrational frequency. Utilizing this energy of grace to bring us into a place of gratitude. Now, for some of you, you may be thinking, she's really lost at this time. Finding gratitude for anything in this time is too far-fetched. I can't find it. And if it is, it's disingenuous. And maybe I can find something little to be grateful for. But to actually feel grateful? Well, I want you to know that not only is it possible, but you're actually being called to cultivate that energy because that's how important it is that you keep your vibrational frequency high. When we have these times where there's unrest, both internally and externally, it's up to us to shift that energy and bring us all to another place actually shift our reality. Now, if you recall, in September, I had done the 30 days of peace, conversations for peace every single day. And I had the most wonderful people sharing their experiences. And so this month, as we are looking at grace to gratitude, I'd like for us to come into this project together in the same way we did in September. And that is with the understanding that each and every one of us has something to share. We might think that it's so obscure, right? That we have too many things that are way more important for us to do. But the truth is there is nothing more important than how we feel. And so this whole notion about grace to gratitude, as I started to talk to you about yesterday, came to me when I found myself in the most incredible experience. And I can't tell you all the details about it now until I get permission from the other person involved. And even better yet, maybe she'll actually come on and we'll tell you the story together, which would be phenomenal. But the most important thing about that story was how I felt. I was in a state of euphoria. And the euphoria came from this place of feeling so loved, so cherished by the universe. I felt like the universe was hearing me and providing evidence that it not only heard me, but that it jumped into action immediately. The other part of that came in the discussion that followed to realize that it was the same reflection of the other person involved in the story. In addition, the actions that I took, I felt were there because I was hearing the universe and responding to it. And so I started to think about, oh, and so did the other person, of course, in the story. She responded. 
And every response came like in the blink of an eye. It literally was in nanoseconds. Bam, 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 bam. And I started to think about this energy of grace because that was the way I felt. I felt like I was sort of in this gelatinous substance where I was completely suspended, free to do whatever I needed to do, but supported in every single part of me. And the feeling also that I had was one of such deep peace. And so I thought for tonight, we would talk a little bit more about this grace. I don't know about you, but up until this moment, that word hadn't really captivated my attention too much. I can't even recall ever using it before. And yet it was the only word that came to me last night when I was reflecting on the whole day and everything that had taken place. The sheer place of grace. So what is it? I started to, you know, try to define it. What is grace? Is it a sense of perfection? Like everything is just perfect, has just fallen into place? Well, I guess it depends on how we look at perfection. You know, what's our definition of that? Does it mean that everything is just as you left it and that it's changeless and um, it just is this sort of place where not only is the change non-existent, but all the pieces fit together so perfectly, no movement is required. And I thought, no, that's not it. Is there a sense of perfectionism connected to it? Yes, because everything is perfect, but it's not because it's not changing or not in motion. It is in constant change and constant motion, and yet the perfection persists. So then I thought, okay, so it's not a sense of perfection. Is it just this sense of everything being stable? Yes and no. You, for myself, I should say, I, I felt stable. But again, it wasn't stable without lack of movement. It was stable in the movement. I was so sure of myself. And then I was thinking, does grace occupy its own space? Now I know that everything has its own vibrational frequency whether it's a thought, a belief, an action, a choice, they all have their own vibrational frequency. So what is the space that grace holds? And I started to see it as kind of the space like between two beliefs or the space between two thoughts or the space between to actions, but this space is a space of peace. It's sort of perfect in that there's nothing needed outside of it. And yet in that space, it is very actively engaged in maintaining its frequency because there's no judgment. There's no um, manipulation of the space. I want it this way and I'm gonna prevent it from being that way. In this space of grace, it is alignment with the forces of energy that are of the highest frequency. The energy is whole. I didn't need to earn it. 
I didn't need to add to it. I didn't need to direct it. I didn't need to define it, even though I'm trying so hard right now to define it so that I can share this, this thought with you, this profound experience that I've had that the words are escaping me. So humor me, just stay with me for a moment. So what I'm thinking is that this state of grace is actually that space in between. Maybe it's the in-between where we are human and the divine is the divine. But whatever it is, it's a place where we are in full communication. Full acceptance. Fully present, like in the presence of a divine energy a source of energy itself. And the sensation is one where all is well. And a knowingness that all will be well, which then of course, you're back to all is well. And when I'm there, all of a sudden, my heart starts to overflow with this love that's filled with this peace and this knowingness that all is well. And so then we're back to this state of grace, this perfect mobile alignment, ever-changing and yet constant, stable, indescribable, and yet when you've experienced it, I guess it needs no description. But I'm going to try every single day this month to share this with you because in this space of knowing that all is well, we can trust that all will be well. And so today, tomorrow, in all the days to come, I want you to know that regardless of what it appears to be outside of you, inside of you, where it really counts, all is well. And that is extended out into the world around you like rays of light. And this is how each and every one of us has the ability to contribute to the world that we live in. And I know it might seem like that's too far-fetched, but it's true. It's so true because it's based on the laws of the universe. These are universal principles that follow through. They hold true under every circumstance, which in itself is a state of grace. And it opens up all of those roads for you to experience gratitude. So the other reason that I'm bringing this up is that in the days to come, you may be reaching, reaching for something to be grateful for, to feel grateful for, knowing that if you can reach it, that energy will lift you up out of a place where you're experiencing some density instead. And I want you to know that there may be moments where it feels too far, too far to reach. In which case, I want to invite you to reach for grace. Just be quiet. Sit between those thoughts that are opposing each other. Sit between those beliefs that are in opposition to each other. Sit between the opposing camps. Be in the neutral space and all will be well. And from that place, I guarantee you'll find something to be grateful for. If nothing else, then to be out of the storm. 
So tomorrow we have um, Irene Nielsen, who's going to be sharing her story of grace and gratitude with us. So I look forward to that. And of course, I'd like to invite each and every one of you that has a story about being in that state of grace and finding gratitude. If you'll share it with us, we'll all be able to learn from you and also share and celebrate that this energy is available to us. And we need it. It feeds our soul and it brings about a sense of freedom second to none. So I'm sending you all my love and my gratitude that you have given me your precious time, energy, and focus. And I look forward to our next conversation. Please tune in tomorrow and listen to the story that Irene wants to share with you. And please consider sharing your own story. Just message me right here on Facebook that you want in. You have a story you want to share and just know that you'll be welcome and I'm gonna make it happen, okay? So I look forward to hearing your stories. Come on, we're all in this together. Let's really be here in between, in the place of grace. We know it'll lead us to gratitude. <laughs>